This is the real honest truth of a mom who's done everything for her son. And we still do a lot of those things just because they're good for his health, but this has by far been the best thing we've ever done. is Amber Isaacs and we're here with our son Carter Isaacs and he's eight years old. So we uh, currently live in Texas and Carter is in second grade and public school. Um, he's also in like the life skills portion of public school for um, kids with you know autism. Uh, he loves playing outside, swimming, uh, all things physical. first came in October of 2022 and so when we came here six months ago we were kind of like hopeful but not really you know like we just I don't know it sounds bad but we weren't expecting too much we were hoping we would but I think on the inside we were kind of like yeah I doubt it so we were very surprised <laughs> so when we first started looking into stem cells um, we I think this was like the only option that we ever considered. I never looked into any other clinics because of all of the research and things that I found with this clinic. It just seemed like there was no other option. We were just really impressed. Coming here, we were looking just for anything for our son. He's severely autistic, nonverbal. Um, everyday life for him is pretty hard. He can't communicate well. He can say some single words, but not really. He can't communicate his wants, needs, feelings, anything like that. And so coming here, honestly, we were just looking for anything. So before he never hardly sleeps through the night, like it may be like three nights a week, he'd sleep through the night. Um, always very hyper. He required a lot of uh, medication to help him calm down. He was very aggressive, not happy. Like he never really smiled a whole lot. So after, like within the first week, he was putting himself to bed, which is something that has never happened. His whole life, we have to lay down with him, wrestle him to get calm to where he could get still enough to fall asleep, and then he would go to sleep. But since stem cells, he puts himself to bed and he has slept, I would say like 98% of the night since we left, which was unbelievable. He's saying more words at school. His teacher has noticed and said that this is the best thing that you know, she has noticed as far as speech. He's understanding us more. He learned to throw a football and catch a football, something he could never do. He swims better than he ever did before. He's so much happier, he's giggly. He's never done things like that. You know, he's never interested in what's going on around him. He was clueless and now he, you know, is interested in all those things. Anyone who is considering stem cell treatment, I say do it. <laughs> if I could go back years ago, I really in my heart feel like Carter would be so much more improved and advanced than he is right now. So I would advise um, parents to read Dr. Riordan's book. And that was very helpful for me to understand how um, this all came to be and how knowledgeable he was. And that was, you know, very helpful. I wanted to share this because I have been the parent on the other side who was scared and hopeless and all those feelings like, you know, my it won't work for my son or, you know, or scared just to come try it. But there have been other people that have done this for me, you know, by telling me their story. And, and my son is even very, very severe. He's like the top um, of that score that they give. And so if it's helping him, I feel very hopeful that it would help all kids. Our son is just changing every day. And that for us was so encouraging and hopeful.